Oh my goodness, there's a story that has been blowing up on tech websites today, and it's about this Google engineer that has quit, okay? Saying the company is 100% competitor focused and no longer innovative, okay? <laughs> this, is, this story just cracks me up, guys. So Steve Yegi, who worked at Google for nearly 13 years, says the company has become 100% competitor focused and unable to innovate. He cites recent product launches such as a smart speaker, its chat, app called Allo and its instant apps as copying Amazon, WhatsApp, and WeChat respectively, okay? He also criticized a company back in 2011 for, for basically the Google Plus system, right? Google has become 100% competitor focused rather than customer focused, he writes. They've made a weak attempt to pivot from this with their new internal slogan, focus on the user and all else will follow, but unfortunately it's just lip service, okay? This is what he's complaining about. So this story absolutely cracks me up, guys. This story absolutely cracks me up. So he's basically saying that Google is so focused on what the competitors are doing and all those kind of things that it's not an innovative company anymore. And my question to this guy is when has Google ever been innovative really okay so back in what was it 1998 or somewhere around there Google was formed the search engine okay this was their most innovative thing they ever did and this is what still drives the business this day so let's think about what other kind of businesses Google has more than just a search engine right does it have a lot of different businesses around it let's think about some of the other biggest businesses Google has right well, there's one you're watching this on right now, which is YouTube. That's their second biggest business, okay? YouTube. Who came up with YouTube? Not Google. Google bought YouTube over a year after it had already been created and whatnot. So all Google did with YouTube was just kind of expand things, just try to try some different things out. They just came out with some new features as the years went on and whatnot and helped grow the platform and monetize it and those kind of things, right? So YouTube, they didn't come up with that. Let's think about another one of its huge businesses, right? What's it called? Android, okay? Android is a massive business. Google must have created this, right? They must have made that. No, they didn't. They didn't make Android either. They bought Android. They acquired Acquired Android and they just built upon that okay so once again Google didn't innovate uh, you can say well they got the Google Cloud which has become a big business now big whoopee everybody's got a cloud service right Amazon Microsoft like anybody Dropbox who everybody's got a cloud service right they surely weren't the first ones to come up with a cloud service so when you look at all their biggest categories and then you think about the hardware products the phone and they're the first smartphone maker no they're like 10 years late to the game right speakers all this type of stuff right Google's always lagged everybody else, okay? What they do really well is they find companies that are innovative, okay? A YouTube, an Android, those kind of things, okay? And they expand upon that, okay? That's what they do really well. It's not like they come up with these amazing ideas and whatnot. The only amazing idea that became a huge business for them so far is Google, a search engine created 20 years ago, okay? But th this is not just a Google thing, okay? This is, uh, this is a lot bigger than just, oh, it's Google. They, they haven't been innovative and in, in whatnot. There's a lot of companies that are in this position, right? A lot of huge tech companies. We think about, you know, Facebook, okay? Facebook uh, has a lot of big businesses, right? Facebook has a lot of big businesses. They have, okay, their first thing they came out with, which was Facebook, okay? That was huge. But then you think about what's their next biggest business? Instagram, okay? Did they come up with Instagram? No, they didn't. They bought Instagram, guys, okay? What about WhatsApp? WhatsApp's their next biggest business, okay? That's just a monster service. Did they create WhatsApp? No, they bought WhatsApp, guys. They bought WhatsApp, okay? You think about Oculus, okay? Oculus, did they come up with Oculus? No, another thing, they bought Facebook. What do they do? They buy. And then you think about Facebook, what did they do? One of their biggest uh, threats was Snapchat, right? And they go ahead and they take, uh, you know, Snapchat stories and start integrating in Facebook and Instagram. So they copied their main competitor. This is all tech companies pretty much in general, guys. They all, because we're talking about billions and billions of dollars for stake here in tech, right? We're talking about billions upon billions of dollars. These categories are massive money makers, okay? So what are all these big companies gonna do? They're gonna see someone being successful over there and what do you think they're gonna say? Oh man, they're making $10 billion in revenue from this, this product over here? No, let's not go after that. Give me a break, guys. These companies have the resources and power to go after something like that. So you think they're just gonna see this company over here making all this money and they're gonna say, oh no, let's not go get some of that money? No, that would be a, a poor decision for their shareholders, right? And they would all probably get fired for making decisions like that. So this guy's point about the company's not innovative and whatnot, 
My point is, uh, you know, that's just the tech world, man. We're like, welcome to tech. I don't know why this guy's making such a big deal about it. Like, welcome to the tech world. Everybody's copying everybody. Everybody's trying to get that money. There's a lot of money up for grabs in each one of these categories, and everybody wants a piece of the pie, guys. And that's just the tech world in general. Everybody's copying everybody. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video. Even if your opinion is different than mine, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about all this little hysteria that this this guy's kind of brought up today. And this this little article just made it public all over the place as far as these tech web sites and whatnot. So anyways, thank you for watching as always guys and have a great day.